What is up? Today, we're going to the perfect chest workout for you to drive new growth in your chest. This workout is going to have four super important components that is going to maximize your workouts and is going to help you drive new growth in your chest. We're not going to waste any time. We're going to hop right into this workout. Like I said, I'm going to take through the entire workout. We're going to have four super important components to this workout. This is going to help you maximize your gains the next time you go hit chest. Let's get it. The first component that is overlooked far too often and growing your chest is activating. By taking just a couple minutes to activate the muscle that you're about to hit is going to help you have a better mind muscle connection. It's going to help you activate more muscle fibers and overall is going to help you build a bigger chest. So for the workout today, what we're going to do is we're going to activate our chest by doing two rounds of a cable chest fly with a kettlebell pushup. The goal with this is to work through a full range of motion. So see on the cable chest fly, I'm focusing on getting as much range of motion as I can, not using a super heavy weight and just focusing on squeezing the chest and really activating again. The way this is going to work is, like I said, the goal is to activate, not to overload. So focus on using a lightweight and actually feel your chest work in. The second exercise that we're going to do is a kettlebell push-up. This is a great variation that you can do to fully expand the chest, really get really deep range of motion, and get a good solid squeeze. If you don't have kettlebells, you can use two benches put up together or two boxes. But the goal is just to explore that really deep end range of motion, get a good stretch on the chest, and get a good solid squeeze. By doing two rounds... 10 reps on both of these, you're going to activate your chest. You're going to have a better mind muscle connection and it's going to help you build more muscle in your chest. Like I said, this is a huge area that people overlook that you need to add to your workouts. The second thing that we're doing is we're overloading. Muscle is not built out of nowhere. There has to be some sort of stimulus for us to build new muscle. Progressive overload is still one of the most foundational things that you can do to build a bigger chest and just build more muscle. So for our first exercise, we're gonna do an incline dumbbell bench press. Now with this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on working up to our heavy set. We're gonna do a drop set on that last set to provide more overload. This is gonna give you just a little bit more stimulation and a little bit more of that kick to build new tissue. Now. Keep things heavy, but still focus on driving from your chest. There's a big difference between trying to get stronger and trying to grow your chest. Yes, there's going to have correlation between both of them, but if your goal is to build a bigger chest and grow a bigger chest, you need to focus on using the right muscle groups. And that's why step number one is so important by activating your chest. And that's why this is also super important. So still focus on lifting heavy weights, but focus on squeezing your chest on your track. Don't just move weight from point A to point B, because by doing that, you're not going to activate the right muscle groups. You're not going to break down the right muscle tissue and you're not going to grow your chest. So still overload, lift as heavy as you can in that 10 rep range, get 10 solid reps. After that third set, we're going to do a drop set. The third thing that we're doing in this workout is taking advantage of time under tension and eccentric overload. Again, we have to give our chest a swift kick to grow and we need to provide that stimulus for it to grow. And this is a great way that we can do it. We're gonna do an eccentric chest fly with a chest press. What you're gonna do is you're gonna pick about five to 10 pounds heavier from what you would normally be able to do on a strict fly. You're gonna do an eccentric fly. You're gonna let those dumbbells come down super slow, focusing on stretching in the chest. You're gonna take about three to five seconds on the way down. Once you get to the bottom, you're gonna bring those dumbbells into your chest and press them up. Doing this is gonna create a lot of time under tension and we're gonna be able to eccentric overload and provide that stimulus for our chest to grow. The last thing that we're doing in this workout is taking advantage of creating metabolic stress. Basically what we're gonna do here is we're gonna force a lot of blood into the muscle and we're gonna provide that stimulus by creating more metabolic stress. Every time that we have a contraction, there's byproducts of that contraction that build up. And by creating more metabolic stress and by creating more byproduct buildup in the muscle, 
it's gonna help you grow new lean tissue in your chest. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a cable chest block. We're gonna do five sets of 10 to 12 reps. Now here's the key, is you're only gonna rest 30 seconds in between sets. By only resting 30 seconds, you're gonna keep that blood in the chest, you're gonna force a ton of blood and a ton of byproducts into the chest, and it's gonna help you provide that stimulus for the tissue to grow. Now what I'm gonna do in between sets is I'm gonna hold an isometric contraction. This is just gonna further help with that mind muscle connection. It's gonna further help put blood into the muscle and is really gonna intensify this finisher. So five sets, 10 to 12 reps, keep it strict, focus on squeezing on each rep, stay strict with that 30 second rest time. Do not allow yourself to go longer than 30 seconds. If you can't quite get 10 to 12 reps, lighten that weight, drop your ego and focus on squeezing your chest as hard as you can each rep. So next time that you hit your chest workout, hit that workout, hit all four of those principles. It's gonna help you build a bigger chest, pack on some muscle and take your training to the next level. Now, that was the chest portion of the workout. We are not done yet. So I'm gonna finish up with a three mile run. I'm actually gonna do my run outside today. It's pretty nice. Doing just three miles, nothing crazy long. So sorry about that. Right when I was talking about the running portion, my camera died. So I'll do a voiceover, but yes, Mixing strength training and running is such a powerful combination. By mixing strength training in your program, you're going to be able to improve your body composition, build more muscle, increase your basal metabolic rates, and improve your body composition. And by mixing running in, you're going to build your aerobic base, you're going to improve your cardiovascular system, and it's such a powerful combination. So if you were not doing strength training and cardio, I do running and other mixtures of cardio, you can choose what you like. but it is such a powerful combination, and by mixing both of the two, you're going to improve your physique, improve your strength, improve your mental toughness, improve your body composition, improve your health and your longevity, and really that is the main goal. So mixing both of those two in a hybrid style training is so powerful, it's such a powerful combination. Highly recommend that you, you switch to this style of training and mix your strength training with your conditioning. So. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Posting content every week, three times a week to help you get in the best shape of your life. Training for my wedding, which is about 35 days out here now. So we're kicking it up a notch. The goal is to get to 8% by wedding day. Just be in the best shape of my life and be the best version of myself. So post some weekly content on that to give you updates, showing you how I'm structuring my workouts for motivation and just to help you get in the best shape of your life. So. If you're interested, subscribe and you won't miss out on that content. I'm going to leave a workout video for you to watch your next. Make sure you go check that one out and I'll see you guys in the next one.